Have you ever struggled with finding the best moving average to use when trading? It's often hard to find the best period for the moving average since it's usually different for each asset or time frame. However, this artificial intelligence moving average completely solves this problem. This is the indicator we are talking about. The indicator uses a machine learning algorithm to determine the best moving average period based on the current market conditions. Along with this the indicator also self-adapts, meaning that it automatically changes the moving average period based on changes in the market conditions. Another benefit of using this algorithmic moving average is that it eliminates the need for subjective analysis. Traditional moving averages require traders to manually adjust the period to fit the market conditions, which can be time-consuming and may lead to errors. With this algorithmic indicator, you can assume that the period being used is optimal for the current market environment. Let's first add the indicator to the chart. Head over to the Indicator Search tab and search for the Machine Learning and Optimization Moving Average Indicator. Select the indicator made by Zierman and add it to the chart. As you can see we currently are not seeing anything displayed on the chart, so let's head over to the Indicator Settings tab to properly configure the indicator. Click on the Indicator Settings button and navigate to the Inputs tab. The first setting we can change is the historical data lookback. This can either be set to custom or all data. When you change it to custom, the indicator will only look back for the amount you input. However, since we want to have the largest data set for the most accurate results, let's select all data. Next, we can choose what the optimization goal is. As you can see there are three options, the first option is performance, this means that you will get the best MA value based on which MA period performed best in terms of the number of percent caught. If you choose win rate, it means that you get the best moving average value based on the MA that provides the highest win rate. The final option is combined, we will be selecting this option since it combines the calculations and selects the best performing period out of the two. We will also be selecting the machine learning checkbox. This option allows us to also use machine learning to optimize the best MA value. If we would disable this option, the calculation would only use an optimization algorithm. Finally, let's change both the moving average types to EMA. That was all that we needed to do. We can see that the EMAs are now updated. If we take a look at the top right corner, we can see that a table is plotted that shows us the data that we are currently using along with the values of the EMAs. Since we won't be using the table, let's disable it to make the chart less cluttered. Now that we know exactly how the indicator works, let's take a look at how we can read the indicator. The easiest and most common way of utilizing the indicator involves looking for crossover signals. If the fast period moving average crosses above the longer period moving average it indicates that a long-term uptrend will be playing out. If the fast period moving average crosses below the longer period moving average it indicates that a longer term downtrend will be playing out. With this method, we can easily identify the market trend. However, because of the long term signals that are provided, the signals will sometimes have a delay making entering into a position based on the crossover a bad idea. We can see this occurred here, even though the price action did eventually follow the trend signaled by the crossover, if we would have entered into the position immediately after the crossover the trade would not have been profitable. In order to enter into short-term trades one of the best methods we can use is the pullback. This means that for a bullish signal, we will first need the price to be trading above the slow EMA, this shows us that the longer-term trend is bullish. If this is the case, we will look for the price to make a pullback to the fast EMA. In order to confirm that the price won't continue in the downward direction we will need to see the price respecting the fast EMA, showing us that there is still bullish pressure in the market. If we take a look at the price action after this occurred, we can see that the price indeed continued in the upward direction. For a bearish signal, the price will need to be trading below the slow EMA, indicating that the longer term trend is bearish. If this is the case, we will look for the price to make a retracement to the fast EMA. In order to confirm that the price won't continue in the upward direction, we will need to see the price respecting the fast EMA, indicating that there is still bearish pressure in the market. As you can see here, the price respected the fast EMA and continued in the downward direction. When looking at the market, you might notice that the slow AI EMA is also often used as support. To enter into a buy position when the price pulls back to the slow EMA. 
we will first need for the price to be trading above the EMA. We can see that this is the case here. We can also see that the price made a pullback to the slow EMA. In order to confirm the signal, we will wait for the price to close above the fast period EMA, showing us that there is still bullish pressure in the market. Despite the strategies being extremely profitable, you may have noticed that the market needs to be trending to enter into positions. In order to avoid periods of consolidation, let's add an extra indicator to the chart. But before that, I am currently hosting a Bybit trading competition with a prize pool of up to $1,000 where the first place gets $500, and the second place gets $300 and so on, if you are interested in joining and earning, click the link in the description to join. Head over to the Indicator Search tab and search for the Volume Oscillator Indicator. Select the indicator made by TradingView and add it to the chart. Now head over to the style settings of the indicator. Here we will be changing the color to make the indicator easier to see. That was all that we needed to do. The volume oscillator is a technical analysis indicator that calculates the difference between two moving averages of volume. This oscillator is used to measure the momentum of the volume trend, indicating the buying or selling pressure in the market. It helps traders to identify possible changes in price direction and confirm the strength of a current trend. This means that if the volume in the market is lower the value of the volume oscillator will also be lower, helping us spot consolidation periods. Now that we know how every indicator works and how we can read them, let's take a look at some entries that we can make using the indicators. We can see here that the price is in an uptrend. We know this because the price is trading above the EMAs. Along with this, we can also see that the EMAs made a bullish crossover here. If we take a closer look at the price action we can see that the price made a pullback to the slow EMA. If we take a look at the previous price action we can see that this price level has offered both support and resistance in the past. The value of the volume oscillator is above the zero line, showing us that there is enough volume in the market, making it likely that the market will start trending instead of consolidating. All of the signals indicate that it's a good idea to enter into a buy position. So let's enter into a buy position once the price closes above the fast EMA. We will be placing the stop loss at the recent swing low. For the take profit, we will target a 2 times risk to reward ratio. Now let's see how the trade plays out. Here we can see that the market is in a downtrend, we know this because of the price trading below the EMAs and because of the bearish EMA crossover. We can also see that the price made a pullback to the slow EMA. If we take a look at previous price action, we can see that the price has used this price level as a resistance zone before. If we look at the volume oscillator we can see that the value is above zero, showing us that there is a sufficient amount of volume in the market. So let's enter into the position once the price closes below the fast EMA. We will be placing the stop loss at the recent swing high. For the take profit, we will be targeting a 2 times risk to reward ratio. Now let's see how the trade plays out. You can also combine the AI moving average with buy and sell signals. If the price is trading below the AI moving average, the trend is likely bearish. Knowing this, we will only enter into the sell signals provided by the buy sell indicator. This means that we will be using the buy sell indicator as the entry signal and the AI moving average as the trend filter. To enter into buy positions, we will need for the price to be trading above the AI moving average. If this is the case, we will enter into a position every time a buy signal is provided. The buy sell indicator that we are using is part of the Lux Algo Premium Indicator Package. If you are interested in getting access to the Lux Algo Premium Indicators, check out the link in the description to get them 30 days risk free. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and could see how the AI moving average indicator can be used and integrated into different strategies. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel.